So good morning, welcome to the second filming competition at the Cannes Film Festival, a film which is painful, sadistic, uh, harsh. Uh, uh, you know that the film today, uh, we're going to see the crew from the film. Uh, there in the middle of the screen, you can see the director, Magnus von Horn. It's his second feature film and he will be accompanied by his actors. A film which tells the story of Caroline in Copenhagen in 1919, a young worker, a clothes worker, who does everything she can to survive. And uh, she has to go through a whole load of uh, very difficult trials and tribulations. It's difficult for the uh, audience and for the character as well. So here we've got uh, Trin Durholm, who you can see on the left of the screen. She is this uh, worker, this clothes worker. There is Vic Kamenzon. Is Bezier the city on the right? Tessa Hodo. They've got uh, a smile. The uh, screening was in the Lumiere Theatre. It was packed, 2,300 places. And the critics aren't all joyous, uh, rather like the film itself. Uh, uh, and. Uh, it says that beauty is, is uh, seen from the front, but the period is not a gentle period. But is it a period like our own, a poetic film? It says the Figaro, Le Monde and Libération don't have the same opinion, according to Le Monde. I mean, he's got his uh, spiral into hell with purely piling uh, violence upon despicable actions pushing us towards a feeling of discomfort and liberation it says that uh, it's uh, gratuitous and uh, sadistic uh, the way he treats it he treats his uh, character and you wonder how this atrocity could uh, be in the competition but that of course makes no difference for the palme d'or it's the 70 seventh uh, edition of the festival. Magnus von Horn with Trin Durholm and Vic Carmen Sonner. Beza Zesidi on the right there. And Tessa Hoda, a Danish actress. It's a Danish film, but it's directed by a Swede. It's the second time, it's his second film. It could have been the second time that he had come to Cannes because he made a film called Sweat in 2020, which... Uh, could have been, we should have been selected, but uh, uh, of course it was the year of COVID. Uh, so anyway, here he is today in competition with this film, The Girl with the Needle, which is a film that's uh, inspired by a criminal affair, a very controversial affair, a real story. It was a national trauma. I don't want to give too much away, but uh, it's come down through generations and it shows the fact that still today people don't want to look at horror in the eye. So, his main character, you can see on the right, uh, she is a poor clothes worker and she wants to get out of poverty. And, uh, she has to make massive efforts to try and improve her situation. He defines his film as being a fairy tale, a tale, a cruel fairy tale for adults. It's a film which is in black and white. That the audience applauded last night. The film hasn't got a release date in France yet, but it raises delicate questions, the world, is the world too cruel to live in? Amongst others.
The actress you can see here has also had a career abroad. She's worked with Piers Brosnan in Love is All You Need. She was a member of the jury of the 64th Berlin Film Festival. And here the director from Sweden who lives in Warsaw with the Danish film is here. He's here in front of the photographers at the Cannes Film Festival. Manus van Horn is known for creating difficult situations and uh, he thinks that by putting these difficult, uh, spiny situations, sadistic uh, uh, situations on the screen, he thinks that these situations will enlighten us and make us think it will shake us up, it will shake up the audience, shake up the viewer. With images that you don't forget, in his first film, Sweat, he attacked uh, social media. There was again this idea of uh, the, the image that was there, the image of the woman. And it was a woman, it was the story of a woman who uh, had to compare her real life existence with the existence that she projected on social media. So they're twin girl. She doesn't have the lead role in the film, because the lead is Caroline, played by Vic Sonia. But she has a very uh, chilling role in this film. She was in competition in Feston, Thomas uh, Winterberg's film in uh, 1998. So she's already been here. She was in a film in the Cine Foundation selection. And here she is in this. Danish film, The Girl with the Needle, and here she hands over to Vic Carmen Zona. So she's been in several films as well. In 2022, she was in God Gotland, and in 2017, in Winter Brothers. She studied at the National. Danish school in Copenhagen. I don't remember Gotland, which was in Cannes in 2022. The story of a young Danish priest who goes to Iceland with the mission of building a church and photograph the population. And the deeper he goes into the harsh landscape, the more he is uh, exposed to sin and temptation. A film by Hilnur Parmesan. Vic Carmen Zunner, the heroine of this film, this Danish film, The Girl with the Needle, the story of this clothes worker who wants to escape her situation and has to go through appalling, awful trials and tribulations. The Figaro, the critic in the Figaro says it's uh, very similar to people like Bergman, by German Expressionism, like Murnau, there is director. Talking in the sunshine because the sun has come back out here, which is nice for this second day of the competition. So we're going to follow them. They're going to go towards the press conference. They're going to answer questions from journalists from around the world. Look at this wonderful shot from the team of uh, TV Festival.